Hello friends, I'm The Otter, and today you're gonna find out everything you need to know about the MRP suspension add-ins for your Fox, RockShox, Marzocchi, and other products on the market. We got version two lift damper, version one lift damper, the shim stack change, a super interesting product here, the Nokin. So if you're not using all the travel on your fork, you pop that one in. And if you're a big girl like myself, you got the ramp controller version two. MRP was brave enough to send me these products, so big shout out to them. So let's not leave out version one people who spent 400 bucks on this one. So we're gonna see what the heaviest compression tune looks like in the version one. And I got the downgraded or the lighter shims on the table. So you guys, super nerds, can dive into the shim stack difference. And I'm really excited to try this one out. And this will be the end of the video, go on some cool mountain bike ride. So we're starting out on version one damper here. And I've been waiting a while to take this part, just kind of got put on the back burner. So we're gonna do a little tech inspection. I made a whole bunch of chapters in this video. So if you're looking for something like version two damper, you can find that chapter, but otherwise, Come enjoy the show. So this is one of my Fox 38s, it's a performance. And we're gonna pull out the grip back stamper and get it ready. So here's the compression assembly on the MRP version one, remember version one. So we got a really stiff spring here. All the new forks, all the good dampers have really, really stiff springs. Not too different than Fox or EXT fork I took apart recently. Probably shouldn't use impact guns on suspension, but makes quick work of it. So here we go, we got a, I don't even know what the name of that is, but we'll put it up there. Then we got the face shim, and then here's the piston. Okay, we'll make sure we put this back on right. Got a raised bevel, so that'll be this side. And this is what we're after. Red tune shims. Looks like they have five total tunes, white, yellow, red, green, based off of mostly body weight. So I did spend an extensive amount of time on the red tune which is a little bit on the heavy side, considering my body weight, it's rated for 230 pound riders and above. So here's the compression shim stack architecture, OD on the top, thickness on the bottom. So 2020, 2019, 15 with a 0.30 clamping shim. I would have to study a little bit more on this. So I've rode this damper and it's an extraordinarily stiff compression, like too stiff for me. And it doesn't look very stiff on the table, so maybe someone smarter can comment about the 0.30 clamping shim with the 15 outer diameter. The next shim stack is the yellow tune I have on the table. So the first part of this video, I'm gonna do an experiment with version one damper and try too light of a compression tune for my body weight. And experiment with tokens, see if it can give you some additional gains or whatever. Architecture is almost identical to the red tune, except for our clamping shims or four tiny clamping shims instead of one massive one. If you're not happy with the tune you selected for your MRP lift damper, you can buy the shim stacks. It comes with compression and rebound shims for $34, but I do have to warn you, changing the shim stacks out is pretty complicated. You're gonna need two sets of shaft clamps, 25 millimeters for the tube, 10 millimeter shaft clamps for the rebound rod. There is no mid valve shim stack, so it's just a check valve on the bottom of the rebound valve. And basically I'm gonna put 2.5 weight oil because that's what I had laying on the shelf. MRP does have a little procedure for you to bleed this but i'm just going to try it the fox style basically fill up the tube pump it a couple times and then ram home the compression assembly
So bleeding this like a fox fork seems like it worked. It is a little bit difficult because of the spring. But let me put this up to the camera. We have no gurgles, so this thing is fully, fully bled. Let's see. It's very important for you to understand that I weigh 200 pounds or 90 kilograms. So I just installed the yellow tune, which is rated for 140 to 180 pound riders. So this is a science experiment to see if the lighter tune with extra tokens makes this feel better or heavier tune with no tokens from before. Okay, full fast rebound, three tokens, no low speed on there. And I'm gonna double check the pressure. Okay, we'll go slow with the new damper. Oh yeah. Felt super buttery. A well, little too fast on rebound. Five from fully fast, and I don't even know how many clicks there are. Nice. Felt super good. So it's completely dialed, as we can see the sag indicator here. Just leaving a touch bit of extra travel, but we're gonna try it with two tokens. On the split side of things, if you're just installing the damper inside of your fork, it's super easy to work on this. Basically everything is intuitive. You barely need to look at the instructions. So I've been experimenting with changing dampers out when they're on the bike and you're gonna do it like this with the bike standing up and then put a little bowl underneath it and everything goes super smooth. So version two damper, let's do a little comparison side by side. So they look almost identical. The interface on version two damper looks like it has some improvements on the bottom of the fork. For the version two, when I was selecting the tune range for my 200 pound, 90 kilo weight, I went for the middle of the range, which would be the green tune, 170 to 210 pound rider. So I'm dead in the middle of this. I'm a middle-aged male, so I rarely read the instructions. So I just pour a little bit of 2.5 weight oil in here, make sure everything's nice and lubricated. Version two damper has springs and balls for the rebound adjuster. So the rebound clicks are a little bit more defined than version one, but springs and balls means installing it. It's a little more difficult. They give you extra springs and balls. So this thing is definitely designed towards the DIY style. So I'm gonna be installing version two ramp controller. There's two different versions they sell. There's one that has like a built-in token. I have version two that doesn't have the token. So we're gonna need, it's a 32 millimeter flat bladed socket off Amazon to open this up. Installing the ramp controller, should have looked at the instructions. It's a little bit tricky because you need a 7 16 socket to turn the clicker knob on the ramp controller off and then you use a cassette tool like I'm doing here. So 
So I got version two damper installed with the ramp controller. So I measured it, all right, there's 20 clicks here. So let's just call it, we can adjust it five clicks at a time. So we can adjust it four times, like four tokens. We got rebound wide open, zero tokens, standard air spring pressure, session the three foot hook to flat to dial in the ramp control. So let's see if the MRP version two damper makes any noise. So it feels like it uses a lot more travel than the other one. So this is the right tune for my weight. Like I think I weigh 100, 200 pounds. So it's, I'm right in the middle of the weight range. I'm curious to see what they changed, how it feels. The damper handles hook to flat really good. Kind of like fast shaft speeds. Feels really confident. Five clicks slower on rebound. And let's do five clicks of progression. Four, five. And this is the main three foot hook to flat section. I'll say locked out ramp control. You don't know if something's good or bad until you try it. It's got a new noise. The overall feel of version two damper is definitely more plush. But the game changer component of the day is the V2 ramp controller. With it completely locked off, this was 100% the best run of the day. So more to come on the ramp controller because I'm thoroughly impressed with it so far. Version 2 damper, there's some serious value proposition with the MRP damper. No clicks involved. Basically the shim stacks are completely dialed for my weight. And with the ramp controller, you have full control and simplicity over your front suspension. Wow. Last but not least, we have the MRP Noken. So it's like the opposite of a token. So if you're not using all the travel, this is a very good product for RockShock Charger 3 Zeb. You're gonna just put it in on the top of your air spring side, but you can't add any tokens if you do use this. Be super careful, it does clear your frame. Mine has built-in bump stops, so no problem there. But MRP did come up with a solution for the smaller frames. It's a riser headset race. I'm actually gonna buy this thing. For $24, you can gain like half a degree of head angle on any fork and bike. You are supposed to cycle the fork every 50 PSI, but if you pump it up to 100, you can just force equalize it later. So right away, this thing makes the fork incredibly more plush than it was before. So let's see how it does around the test track. At my normal Fox 38, 120 PSI pressure. So instantly this fork is super, super soft. Low speed is gonna be open.
So I've never experienced quite a cheap upgrade that is so noticeable on the trail. The Nokin basically, it does have the coil-like feel. So for $69, if you're coil fork curious, this is 100% an awesome buy. So I was a little bit afraid of the Nokin causing some metallic clanking noises. So I went through this section, landed hard, landed to flat, and I can say there was absolutely zero metallic clanking coming out of this fork. That's because the version 2 MRP damper does a really good job at controlling high shaft speeds. So if you want more comfort, it's in the Nokin. Like if you're riding trails, you want less arm pump, 100% Nokin. Bike park day, Nokin. If you want more control off the steeper lips or hug to flat, it's definitely in the ramp controller. The only problem I've had so far on the MRP dampers or complaints was my personal mistake of buying too heavy of a compression tune thinking I wanted to take the tokens out of my Fox 38. So if you're in between tunes, definitely go down in tunes. So I did a separate video for my channel members going into Grip X2 versus Grip X versus MRP dampers to help you find the right one for your riding style. Click the link on your screen if you want to become a channel member.